Good morning, Mesa. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, and you're watching JTV News, your only source for all things Mesa. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back, Mesa. Let's take a look at today's announcements. Get your bands ready for Battle of the Bands. Auditions will be February 1st through the 5th after school. Bands need to be consistent of two or more people. The sign-up sheet will be in room 205, and an informational meeting will be held on January 13th in room 205 during both lunches. Students, the library staff reminds you that you must have a pass to come to the library during your lunch period. You may get a one-day pass or a semester pass from one of your teachers or the library. Always sign in the, at the counter when you come to the library and remember no food or drinks except water bottles are allowed in the library. Please eat your lunch outside before visiting the library. Thank you. Seniors, the senior Paranama prints will be arriving soon. Don't miss out on your chance to own one of a kind class of 2016 senior Paranama. Picture and set your order form uh, from Miss Tapia in room 809 now. Seniors, are you interested in a $1,000 scholarship? The Mahana Club Scholarship is due soon and is for students who have demonstrated a strong commitment to the community service and who are ranked in the 11 through 40 percent of the class. If you are interested in applying, please see Ms. Harris in the Career Center ASAP. Applications are due to Ms. Gamboa by Tuesday, January 26th. Do you love sports and working with kids? Do you want to earn service learning hours while learning real job skills? The city of Mesa is looking for junior recre recreational leaders again. If you are interested, you pick up an information or an application from Ms. Wright before school, during lunches, or after school in room 806. Complete applications will be due to Ms. Wright by Monday, January 18th. There is an interview pro process, so please turn in your application as soon as possible to be considered for this volunteer position. Interviews will be held on campus January 20th and the 21st. More details for interviews to come. Thanks, Mesa. Seniors, are you the future leaders? Are you interested in a $500 scholarship? The Mesa Chamber of Commerce is looking for you. Stop by the Career Center to pick up an application for the 2016 Student Spotlight on Leadership Scholarships. Your application is due to Ms. Gamboa by January 26. Students, do you have a favorite teacher who should be considered the Teacher of the Year? The Mesa Chamber of Commerce will like to hear from you. Nominate your favorite Mesa Public Schools teacher for a chance to win the title of Teachers of the Year. And $500, please see Ms. Harris in the Career Center. For the information in room, nominations are due to Ms. Gamboa by January 26. Attention Art Club members, this is a reminder to finish your gallery submission. If you have not done so already, once completed, bring it to Mr. Fields, room 207. Our meeting of the year will be this Thursday after school in room 207. The art room, come and join us and make the job art. <laughs> Have you set a New Year's resolution to become more social or to meet new friends? What about to earn service hours to help your community? Well, here's your chance. Join to the Be A Leader Avid Club and meet lots of new people who, while having fun. <laughs> Our meetings are every Tuesday after school in room 126. We hope to see you there. Attention host of students who are registered for an online test. Tests will occur during 2nd, 3rd, and both 4th and 4B in room 703. Be sure to arrive as soon as possible. If you don't have class in the biotech building, one of those hours. See Ms. Cherry for a pass before that. 
Also, don't forget we have a Biotech Academy and HOSA meeting on Wednesday at 3.15. Sophomores and juniors, are you interested in attending EVIT next year for their classes or for their cosmetology program? The EVIT applications are here and available in a counseling office. You must fill out an application with all the documents required, attending discipline and immunization records plus an official transcript. So come to the counseling office for the EVIT application and get them returned to EVIT as soon as possible in order to get the best chance to be selected for the program of your choice and see Ms. Donald, Mr. Donald for questions. Let's take a look at, the, at this week's episode of College Trivia. Hello Mesa High, my name is Mustafa and I have this week's college trivia question. But first, congratulations to Thomas Briggs for answering last week's college trivia question, which was, what city is NAU located in? The answer was Flagstaff. Please come to Mr. Tartar's room, room 811, to claim your prize. To participate in this week's college trivia question, please go to the URL shown on screen now. Type in uppercase and lowercase letters exactly as it appears on screen. This week's question is, what is the acceptance rate of UCLA? Answer quickly, because the first person to answer correctly wins. Let's look at weather this week. The weather for this week will be in the low 60s, and the... 40s, 38 is the low for today, and on Saturday we're going to have the highs of 60 continue, the lows of 60 continue, and 43 in the evening. Back to the newsroom. That's all the news for today, Mesa. Have a great day, and as always, carry on.